Welcome to Obsidian for Tabletop RPGs. Let's learn how to use the tool. Alright, g'day guys and welcome back today to another Obsidian video. Today we're going to be having a look at a new uh, TTRPG plugin that has hit the market. That plugin is called the Fantasy Content Generator and it's designed to sort of help you out with providing some random sort of notes um, for you know, generating random content inside of your, your notes so you can use it at your obviously tabletop games. So, where do we get this plugin? Well, obviously we go down to settings, we're going to come into community plugins and browse, and from there we're going to type in fantasy into this option here, and we can see the fantasy content generator. Now I've already got it installed, but you just go ahead and uh, do the install option. Once it is installed, you'll be able to hit the enable option. While you're uh, obviously here, you should take some time to read the, um, the options because there is some, uh, some instructions here on how to use it. Um, but it is really quite simple, so we're going to jump in now and have a bit of a play. Okay, so in front of me you can actually see some uh, a random note with a bit of text. And this is actually uh, being created with the plugin. Alright, so we can see I've asked it for an in and it's basically given me a description. Alright, so hidden away in the forgotten corner of the world, surrounded by ancient ruins and mysterious artifacts. There's rumours, uh, there's people in here. All right, so it's giving you just enough content to sort of whip up an in nice and quickly, but how do we go ahead and do this? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we should see that you've now got a new icon called the Fantasy Generators. And if you click that, it brings up this very simple UI and it gives you a list of all the different random generators that are currently within the plugin. All right, so we can come in here and I'm gonna say, I want some inns and taverns. I want to create five ins, and we're just going to go. Well, I'm just going to click copy. Nothing doesn't work. There you go. Had to. I had to test it live on my video, of course. We'll go five again. Generate and then copy. All right. It pastes it into here. All right. So it kind of puts it on your clipboard, and then you can just sort of paste it. Um, and you can see here that we've got five new taverns. We can just do a little bit of quick formatting to make it a bit neater. Um, but, you know, we've got five ins that we could now potentially say to our players, well, you've entered the town, there's uh, five different inns available in this town, here's the names of them, when they get closer, give them the descriptions, once they go in, you've got some rumours to sort of work with, with the people that are in there. Alright, so that's a nice, quick, easy sort of uh, tool for, a, you know, any dungeon master. If we have another look around here, what have we got? We've got some uh, dungeons, alright, so... Ruins in a long forgotten temple is a place to be reckoned with, famous for its protected by powerful enchantments, guarding its secrets for those that seek to exploit them. So, you know, it's pretty simple stuff, um, but it's useful. We can get some settlement names, as you can see here. There's options for objects and vehicles. So drinks, for example, you can bring in random drinks. Uh, there's some loot and treasure here. All right, that's always handy. Everyone always needs a loot generator. Um, looks like, you know, it's it's got a shiny healing potion, a broken feather. So it's got some mundane options as well as some sort of uh, magic items in there. Um, ships, trees, not not a heap of stuff I would probably use myself. Like personally, I'd probably loot and treasure. Inns and taverns would be things I would use. Um, I like this option here. So the groups and the religion. All right, so you can get different sect names and different sort of cult names. Uh, there's animal groups, and then there's sort of races, and I, I believe the race is, yeah, name generator. Okay, so if you quickly need a name for someone who's uh, going ahead and obviously, you know, an NPC that you meet on the street, this might be something that you can use really quickly to generate that. And of course, once you've generated, you can just paste it into a note, um, which makes it super easy for you to use, right? So it's really, it's, it's not an advanced plugin, guys. Like it's, it's obviously, it does a job. It does it quite nicely, quite cleanly. Um, and it just does that and you know, it goes on its way. Now, if we go down to the settings and we go back into community plugins and have a look at the fantasy content generator under the settings options, you can actually see that you can make some modifications to this. All right, so there's options in here for sort of adding your own elements here. So for example, here's the prefixes. Okay, you could actually come in and add your own options and expand on this if you like. And look, it really is quite, quite easy. Like if you are, 
in here you can what have we got the smelly all right or you can just add in the smelly and now that the smelly will be part of the prefixes is now available to be used for the ins you can see my option is there very easy to remove it once I've added it if I don't like it so that's certainly an option so that makes it a very easy to use plugin guys like you can modify it to your heart's content you can add your own options in um, you could possibly even come along and put your own treasure in I'm sure sure so loot settings uh, you can import files and export files as well but you can see there's all sorts of options in here for making your own uh, elements your own items it's got weight it's got item name okay so all very simple to use okay so you don't actually all need to use this plugin directly from this button here either something that you can do is come down here into your notes anywhere and just type the app symbol all right and it brings up this prompt of all of the various things that are available so I can come in here and say at make me a trading post okay and look at that it comes in creates us a trading post gives us a name some details about the origin how old it is how big it is um, you know who, what sort of shops it has there what sort of services it has all right so you can actually use the at symbol on your keyboard to trigger this and you know put them directly into your notes so that certainly might be another way that people like to use this instead of actually coming in here and it does look like there's a few extra like more detailed options I guess you would say um, about you know some of the options that are in here versus the menu so there's a lot more that I can see in here and it might just be elements of these sort of things but it's ways to trigger them um, in a way that might be useful for you so um, you can actually change that key by the way so if we go back to community plugins go down to fantasy content generator and settings the inline generator callout key is defined here so you can go ahead and obviously just change that to whatever you like as well so and you know anyone who needs a random generator I'd certainly I'd, I'd recommend this is something that's nice and simple obviously I've played previously with um, I like to use the the inline scripts plugin it's a lot more advanced and some people have trouble sort of setting it up and have challenges by understanding the, the you know the coding that's required behind it this is a fantastic option for people who just don't need that complexity in their life right like they just want five ins and they need it now and there you go nothing complex about it you now have five ins so anyway that's been the fantasy content generator plugin do give it a go guys it certainly looks like a nice new addition to the TTRPG uh, plugin repositories so always lovely to see more options in there and uh, yeah I guess uh, let us know if you find anything fun about it um, outside of that we'll leave it there as a nice quick short one hope you're enjoying your uh, your long weekend if you are celebrating it um, I will speak to you all on all the socials and enjoy yourself goodbye <laughs>